This is Rap the News. Yudi Yashirel put out another attack video. And people think that this stuff that's happening right here don't matter. This is separating Satan's children from us. And this is how we can tell Satan's children because I told you in previous videos, they are the ones that are on drugs. They are the ones doing drive-bys. They are the ones rapping all this dirty, nasty music. They are the ones going to get abortions and everything else. They are the ones doing this and doing that, stealing and giving our whole race a bad name. They are the ones worshiping idols and they have our skin color, wolves in sheep's clothing. So, uh, I call this syndrome chaotic, but the world called the syndrome reactive abuse. I don't feel like I'm abused whatsoever because I'm just fighting. People don't understand that when you in this world, you don't get a break if you are God's people. You are suffering affliction like the book said you would be doing. If you are not suffering affliction, you are not God's people. And so with that said, you got these animals right here who will fight you every step of the way. They look like us. They sound like us. But inside, God said they are ravenous wolves. So in this video, people, I am teaching you how to deal with these people. I am teaching you how to recognize these people. I know some of you already do. I put a video out about abusive syndrome the other day so we can expose these people people who are what Satan's children right Cain Esau this is who that is they born of us but they not us those are master's children for real that he is Esau look look at the most high in his infinite wisdom look at all the color around him and look what color he is blue that blue stand for deception everyone knows that blue is the color of deception and that's what he's doing so in this video, folks, I really don't want you to turn. I want you to learn. I'm going to say it again. I don't want you to turn from none of this. We stand and fight. But I want you to learn from this fight. That way you know how to fight the enemies like this. So I'm going to show you what, again, reactive abuse syndrome is. And then I'm going to show you a pattern in this Negro. God willing. Let's get into it. Reactive abuse is when a narcissist or a toxic person or somebody in general pokes you, pokes you, pokes you and sets you off. Makes you and, and you explode to the point where you act out of character. You are reacting to their abuse. The narcissist try and make you feel like you are the abuser when in fact you are the victim. You are the one getting abused. That's what they do. The narcissist sets things up for you to react to and when you react they make you look like you are the one who is the narcissist and the narcissist may you know if you lost a parent the narcissist may say something like you know um you know that that that, that that's why you just lost your father you know they'll say the most meanest and cruel things um to get a response out of you I don't care how nice you are. Anybody can be driven to the point of I've had enough of you and I'll just have to go to jail because I'm just up to here with you. And I have been driven to the point where I have wanted to, to kill that person. I've been driven to that point because I've had it with you and you just won't stop. And you keep pushing past my barriers and past my boundaries to the point where I just guess I'll have to go to jail. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to show you a pattern with Yuta Yasharel, a pattern of abusing everybody he runs into, and then he plays the victim, just like a female trying to get her man sent to jail so she can keep hoeing. This is exactly what he's doing. I can guarantee you he did not have a father in his life. His original father was not in his life. If he was, he beat the stank out of him and he ran away at a young age. I can guarantee you it has to be something like that because he do not have any man in him because a man has man laws. You do not, you do not approach men and get up in men's face and provoke 
provoke men that you cannot beat. Everybody he provoke will whoop his old ass. Then why is he provoking men? Because he didn't have a father to lay in on his ass or do something. Something is wrong. Right? Or his mama was very abusive. And watch this. The wife, if you listening to me, you know. You already know he chaotic as shit. But just like I said, we're going to show a pattern right now, Israel. And we need to sit here and learn from this so we can recognize it and know what to do. Right? And so after I show a pattern, I'm going to show you what to do about that. Let's get into this. Judah Yashawel. I was minding my own business. The only thing I did wrong is just making a comment. And the comment was not to bully you. It was a very decent comment that we followed the new moon to observe the Sabbath. And the next thing you did, you attacked me. You attacked me. You called me Africans. You bullied me. You shamed me just because of my accent. I have never disrespected Brother Asharala, called him a name and all other so forth. He's done that to me on numerous occasions, four occasions to be exact. I've got phone calls about him disrespecting people, all right, um, even when y'all was in the chat rooms and you were hurting people's feelings, uh, but the officer Waller was. So he's been doing that to people, not me. Um, he could calls me out out of nowhere and then say I'm attacking him. I didn't attack him. He attacked me. Uh, then uh, Rap News got a hold of it exposed him this video is about elder uh yuda yasharel i have to speak my piece i have to bring the evidence that i have rap the news is not lying deshaun whitehead is not lying they are telling the truth about the way that elder yasharela is you're gonna see his response to what i say to him i disagree with him he feels some type of way about it and I said to myself, okay, well, I'm still going to show love because that's what the scriptures say to do. So I said, okay, have a good night, Elder. Much love. This is his response. You are totally confused. I'm tired of trying to show you that. You did more than cause a problem. I will not go to war with Rap the News. After all the Most High put on his heart and he did. This group got the help it needed. And it could have continued with the Most High's blessings had there not been ego, strife, hatred, variance, uh, cunning, because the devil is cunning. The, 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 the devil was the most crafty of the, uh, of the beast of the field, was he not? Cunning comes from the devil, Yudi Yasserel. You want to believe that you know everything. And all you want to do is fight, 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 fight. And all you have done since we've been out here is talk shit about everybody else and elevate yourself. So, like I said, I know you're watching. The question is, why? You, you just have to start trouble. I watched you for years. Seek out people because you didn't agree or they didn't agree with you. And you put on a show with your semantics and your manipulated videos where you show off your software. You know, I can't think of one prophet that operated that way. They didn't use music. They didn't use video semantics and animations to prove a point. The most size word was all they needed. Why do you need so much more? Because you're a show. You're the Pied Piper. You're the devil himself. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to squash this, I'm all for it. But I'm not going to fight with you. I'm not going to go around and around with you. I'm going to leave you in the dust. That's where you belong. Peace, brother.